never thought I was going to go, oh, I'm for sure going to go study mountains as a thing. And, and I love mountains, you know, I've hiked up mountains all my life and I've never looked down at the ground and thought, you know, there's microorganisms down there that I want to study. It was just something that I came into at the end of my undergrad and I thought this was an excellent opportunity to study this relationship and diversity of these not really well-known microorganisms in the soil. Hi, I'm Cameron Egan and I'm a PhD candidate here at the UBC Okanagan campus. Our lab, we study a really cool group of organisms. They're called mycorrhizal fungi, and basically what they do is they help plants take up nutrients from the soil, and in exchange, by hooking up the plant roots, they get carbon and photosynthesis products from those plants, and really they're working together for a mutual goal. And so what we're doing with my project is we're using these elevation gradients, which really are universal gradients of stress. You're moving from an area of low stress, high plant productivity to areas of high stress, low plant productivity. And what I'm really interested in is how the diversity of these organisms changes as we move up and down these gradients of stress. They're both having to work against these stressful environments at high elevations and I'm really interested in do they really start working more cohesively and start working better together as partners as we move from low stress to high stress environments. I collected my samples along a high elevation gradient in Glacier National Park, Montana. So it's this pristine, untouched mountain. You're not even allowed driving up it. So I had to hike in, hike out all my supplies every day. And then what we do is we take these soil samples, take these plant root samples, freeze them, bring them back to the lab at UBC Okanagan. And then once we're there, we extract DNA and work with the DNA in the lab. We can't see these things with the naked eye. So we have to use a combination of field ecology with molecular ecology, with microbiology. So you kind of have to become a jack of all trades if you're working with these microorganisms and still want to be an ecologist, which is largely what my interest is in, is the ecology and diversity of these organisms and natural systems. So my BSc, I largely stayed here, partly because it's a smaller university. In my view, the quality of education is higher. Another reason actually why I stayed local during my undergrad degree is I was quite competitively involved in cross-country skiing. I was on the BC team for years. I represented UBC Okanagan at the World University Games in 2007 in Torino. Moving to my graduate degree, as much as I love studies, I like having extracurricular activities to do at the same time and I love animals and so I found an opportunity with a really great program on campus called Bark where I got to bring in my rescue dogs which I've adopted and I get to bring them on a campus, undergrads get to spend time with them so I find it's a really good way to connect with the campus community on top of just doing my research and studies here. I'm finishing up my degree within the next semester or so and so right now I'm looking at trying to stay into research, finding some more projects where I can extend upon my graduate degree and the research I've done in my PhD and looking forward to spending more time in academia because I think it's a really stimulating environment to be in and I really like the culture and just the idea of sitting somewhere and thinking about how the world works.